basketball on NBC's Santa Barbara. Let's take a look at them in action. both on the show. Well, like tough you. work, huh? Huh? <laughs> tough work. Tough work. But I understand you had a little trouble getting on the lot. Yes, I sure did. What happened? I almost had to beg my way on. What happened? Well, first of all, they didn't know I was a host, a guest on the show. I'm not a host, but a guest on the show. Uh -huh. So they didn't have my name. And then they had me listed as Cynthia. And so they named me go all the way around the block and then park in the urban. <laughs> they, I, they didn't trust me. They didn't trust me. So I had right. to, like, practically beg my way in. Uh-huh. I got it. And what did the guy say to you? I heard what the guy said to you. Well, the guy said, well, what would you be under? And I said, well, I might be... Under a tree. Oh, okay, folks. He said, he said, well, what what affiliate would you be with? Well, I might be here with A. Martinez. I might be here with Santa Barbara. I said, it might be under NBC. He goes, well, then why aren't you doing the Tonight Show? And what was his name so he can no longer work here anymore? I have no idea. I have no idea. Now, we just saw that clip. Uh, where, where it's very steamy, it's very hot. You guys get tired of kissing each other. Yeah, can I come? Actually, we don't. It's uh, I think uh, it's my favorite part of the job. Actually, is those things. Say the honest truth. Really? Why lie, right? <laughs> After all these years, you still love to kiss. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we work, work real hard in between those scenes. I mean, that's mm -hmm. not all we do. Right. Don't get the wrong idea, you know. You've got to talk once in a while, and uh, it's kind of like a little bit of a break, not have to memorize any lines, and uh, uh -huh. what do you got to worry about, you know? Uh-huh. So it's just that you don't have to memorize any lines? Is that what you tell well, me? Well, <laughs> you can give me in trouble. Right? <laughs> no, it's, you know, good for, uh, I think it's good for the public to see stuff like that. It's, you know, make love, not work, type you. Okay, I'll buy that. <laughs> and what, what about you? How do you feel about that? Well, uh, he's become like my best friend, uh -huh. and kissing him is a joy. Really? Yeah. But when you when you That's great. When, when you kiss, do you think it's best friend, best friend, best friend, best friend? That's what I want to know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get it. No, because no, you guys kiss an awful lot. I, I don't kiss that much in life. I don't, and maybe that's why, I'm, maybe I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you guys because you have such a hot and skinny relationship. Actually, we have a, pr a producer who's like uh, kind of bummed out about the way our relationship works because he doesn't think that his life has enough passion in it in comparison, mm -hmm. but, you know, you know, it's a soap opera, right? right you right. know, it's our job. Somebody has to do it, and uh, we're there to kiss on TV. That's kind of what we do. <laughs> now, now, you're both married. Yeah. Do, do your spouses get jealous? Or well, are they just used to I tell you, my uh, my wife we had trouble with at the beginning, but she's a real strong lady, and, and it helped one day she came to work and actually watched us work out some love scenes, and and she thought that you know there is some work that goes into it. I mean, you've got to like figure out when to talk at times and when not to get in someone else's light, and how not to go cross-eyed when you get real close. You know, it looks real bad if you start getting you know cross-eyed. Oh, and you're about to get the moment. Also, you know, we have to wear in the bed scenes. They make you wear this like little body stocking. Uh -huh. And if you're in long waisted at all, you know, it's like a little bathing suit. It starts to slide one way or another. So you have to like be careful that you don't, you know. Plus, they don't want to see your tongue, you know. Face. They don't want to see, <laughs> they don't want to see your tongue, no. right? And but you know, it's hard to like. Yeah, they don't like that. <laughs> That's it. And they but don't like when you <laughs> like fit. And you come up, if you come apart in a little bridge, the saliva comes through. Oh. They don't like that either. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the problem. Because you think about it in real life, you have to worry about stuff like that. You know, you just kind of let it go. But in TV, you got to, like, tell that you're really kind of getting into it. And mm -hmm. you got to keep your tongue hidden and keep that uh, saliva <laughs> inside your mouth. It's hard. 
Now, you two are about to make all this legal because you're going to get married on the show tomorrow. That's true. And we have here a sneak preview. This is the first time this clip is being shown anywhere, and it'll be shown for real tomorrow on the show. That's true. Yeah, let's take a look at this piece. I now ask you, Eden, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. With this ring, I be wed. And join my life to yours. All right. <laughs> what? No, no, I'm thinking about that dress. What? Oh, yeah. oh it, it, great. it weighed like 60 pounds. There were six skirts, and there were a, it was a metal hoop, and it was all suspended on my waist, and I couldn't move, and I, they put like, you know, those like orange crates? Uh-huh. So a, a, a gaffer, like a prop guy, would come running up, and we would break tape, and he'd lift my skirt up, and he'd shove the box underneath so I could sit down. And it would be like, you know, all you're wearing is a tanning hose or something. The guy's... <laughs> yeah, he kept trying to get lost in there. I had to check him out. Another tough job in show business. Yeah, well, you know. Gapper. I'll remember that one. <laughs> okay, now, we have done this. A. Martinez has agreed to play a love scene. I must be out of my mind. With one lucky lady from our audience. And we're going to go find this lucky lady right now. Are we not? Here we go. <laughs> Just A. Martinez. Going to have a love scene with one of these lucky women in our audience. And if they, look, they're pointing at this guy right here with the blonde hair. No, not him. Not him. No. It's a different kind of show, folks. It's a different kind of show. Lucky lady. What? You really desire this man? Well, okay, let me ask you a question while we're here. What would you do to be in a love scene with Cruz Castillo? What would you do? <laughs> so actually, the lady has already been chosen. She's in this audience right now. And she's going to stand up. She knows who she is. Show yourself. Oh, she's shy. You know it's you. Get up. <laughs> Come here. This is the lucky woman who gets to be... What's your name? Sorry. I'm sorry, what again? Sabrina Sharp. And where are you from, Sabrina? I'm from Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida? Yeah. And what do you do for a living? Well, right now I'm a singer. You're a singer? Huh? Really? Yeah. Are you a good singer? Oh, I think I am. Well, you'll be singing after this love scene. I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Sabrina and A. And what's going to happen is this A. Martinez and Sabrina Sharp from Naples, Florida will play a love scene together, and who knows what can happen here on The Late Show. Oi! No, oh, oh, oh. Stop it. Now, I'm going to direct this, this little though. scene. And so, are you, are you guys ready? No, I'm not ready. Are, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Action. I can't believe you're the father of my baby, and you're having a mad, torn affair with Ursula. Ursula? Uh, I don't know. What, what do you mean, Ursula? I, I've only seen Ursula a few, uh, few dozen times. And that, that long weekend in Carmel, well, uh, well, that was an accident. My, uh, my car broke down, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's and there was the only room left at the inn. There was only one, and, uh, and I don't know what you're so upset about anyway. Sometimes you just seem like a million miles away from me, John. Well, darling, you know, I'm, uh, I'm rich, I'm good looking, and I got a lot on my mind. It doesn't mean I don't love you. Don't take that from him. Oh, oh. No, no, cut, cut. Let's really slap him a little bit around here. Jeff, where's that? Jeff, wait, wait, Jeff, where's that uh, funny music coming from? What? What? It's coming from soap opera land. Oh, that's a little distracting. All right, continue, continue. Can go from the slap. Go from the slap. Ready? Take it from the slap. Go. Slap the hand. Slap the hand. Oh. Don't think I'll ever forget the time you told me you had an amnesia on New Year's Eve. Uh, I did have, uh, have amnesia. I don't remember what uh, what brought it on now, but I did have it. And, it, and I'm never going to forget when uh, that time when you uh, shot me the laughing stock of, uh, of uh, what, it, what town is this in we're in? Naples, who knows? Naples. Yeah. You made me the laughing stock of Naples, Naples by uh, hooking up with uh, Boom Boom uh, Rabinowitz. <laughs> the town Romeo. Uh, 
Let's put our past behind us now and think of the future. Go for it, Sabrina. Come here, baby. <laughs> better at this when we don't talk. Goes brought to you by Bud Light, the light beer winner. Yeah. We need to run out of here anyways. I want to thank my guest. I want to thank Jack Oakenheimer. Thanks very much. I want to thank any band, Guns N' Roses. Yeah. I want to thank... Oh, you'll get your turn. Woo! I want to thank... The... <laughs> I want to thank the lovely Marcy Walker for being on the show. And of course, A. Martinez. Thank you. Thank you. And now... To play us into the night, here's Guns N' Roses with Are You Still Lover? But I had to kill her. 